You know, I had a really cool 308 I want to show you guys, but I can't remember where I put it. Ray, you happen to find it anywhere? Found this box over here that looks like your camera equipment. Let's bust it open and see what's in there. Uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, let's check it out. Pelican case. There it is. That's it. Awesome. It's no camera, is it? No, it's not a camera. It's a full-size Battle 308, ready to roll. It's a takedown 308 made by DRD out of Dallas, Georgia. All right, and this is the um, Paradis. Paradis model. Yep. yep. And it's basically a takedown with a folding stock. I'm going to lay the parts out on the table here. I'm going to give a close-up of the assembly. We have a suppressor. Standard mag, full magazines. Absolutely. Get all our little goodies laid out. We're going to move our case out of the way. Set this aside over here. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to reposition the camera. We're going to assemble this little guy for you. Well, this thing is very easy to assemble. No tools necessary. All you need to do is release the latch here. <coughs> pull your barrel assembly with the barrel nut attached, as well as the gas tube and the gas regulator. They come threaded half, uh, 5 8 by 24 right hand. So you can attach any of your standard suppressors or flash hiders. Basically, you just assemble the gun. Bolt back. Like so, bolt back. Yep. Make sure that the bolts to the rear. Run the nut down. Turn That's it. My understanding that hand tight is just fine. Run it hand tight. Put your assembly on. Pull the latch, a, uh, latch yeah. pin in here that um, keeps everything in the right position. Show a close up of that there, Ray. It's a takedown pin, it's a capture just like on the AR takedown pins. Once you get that out, push it in, it locks in place, rotate your cam lever. And that's it. It's Very nice. Pin. Put your sound suppressor on. Let's see how effective it is at uh, keeping the neighbors asleep. One, two. That's really cool right there. <laughs> that is all kinds of awesome. That is. It's very nice. It's my understanding that some of the Navy Special Forces are using these. Very cool. So uh, in terms of the price tag, about what can someone expect to pay for that rig without the suppressor? I'm thinking that they're probably going to be in the neighborhood of about $6,000 give or take. It depends on options. I'm sure that there are probably more than a few options available for these. They are semi-custom built. Yeah, and that is the newest and greatest in the world of 308s. It's very nice. Very simple design. It breaks open for maintenance. Very similar to your AR. You've got your takedown pin you have to press out. Make sure that you drop your bolt carrier. Take your magazine out. And then in the back, you push forward on the T handle and retain the spring because it will come out under some substantial force if you don't hang on to it. That's it. Very easy maintenance, very modular in design. Very cool unit. At this point, we're going to do a um, small test with some ammo here in the back, but uh, eventually, we're going to do a full review on this item and you'll get a hell of a lot better picture of everything about this gun. And that was with supersonic ammo. It's pretty that quiet. That was supersonic, yes. Not bad. Absolutely. Runs good. Very neat.